But listen to me. This story is what not over. Fuck? You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only Goodbye. true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Ow. Wow. That went well. Random woman. Uh, textures everywhere. Handle that didn't do anything. I was dead, then I was alive, then I was dead, then I died. Oh, cute game, cute. The only way to actually come back to this game is to leave it. So all I got out of not pressing escape was by getting my body crushed. Sweet. Thankfully, I don't think I have to uh, exit the game. No, car. Oh, fuck you. New game. Start. So, one ending where I've escaped and followed the orders of a disemboweled evil voice blindly. Two of them where I've died. Please, can I have one where I'm alive? Maybe? Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was Shut terrifying. Shut up, you evil bastard. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered nope, the door... No, I'm going to go down the elevator this time. This was not the correct way to the Don't employee give two lounge, fucks. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So he turned left at the first open door and walked back Come in the right direction. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't Shut five up. years ago. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening mm. as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. So when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button Forgot to go up. Forgot about punishing self thing. Right. Foot you, elevator, uh, elevator guy. Foot you, voice guy. Excuse me. Down. Oh, Stanley. Oh, Stanley. <sighs> You know, you really aren't going anywhere, and I don't say that deceitfully. I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. The story was back up where I told you to go what, in the death? first place. Right now, you're just running around looking la, 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 at empty la, la, la. halls. And frankly, that's perhaps even more infuriating for me. So why don't you throw me a bone, give me a chance, and just let me tell the story I want to tell, hmm? Must I? Open, thank you. Now, I'm going to test something. Save. New current save. Save. Half left to save. Load. Okay, it has got it saved. Good. Because I have a feeling it's going to make me do an another choice in a second. Ah, what a surprise. Now listen carefully. This is important. Meow. Stanley walked through the red door. 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 I went through the red door. 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 Uh. Right. Save again, just in case. Save. Over right. Yep. Let's go for the red door, then, and see what happens. Into pitch black. Good. Good. Now, if you don't mind, there's something I'd really? like to show you. But to do that, I think it would be best for us to start from the beginning. I'm sorry. I'm s This is a very sad story. About the death of a I man beg your pardon? named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was uh, employee the door number four two seven. Good morning, employee four two seven. His job pushing buttons demanded little of him, so there was not much of himself to give. And in this way, Stanley's job felt less and less like Brace his every day. your keyboard. But if buttons need pushing one day, it means they'll need pushing the next press and B. then the next. 
So without question, Press Paul one, Jackman, your keyboard. Stanley continued to do what the screen told him. One keystroke flowed into another keystroke, flowed into his ride home, flowed into dinner, flowed into waking up, flowed into going to work, and here he was again. Stanley was typing out a complete sentence that said absolutely Fine, nothing you know what? at all. I'm gonna stop pressing it. Please go if home to your reality, family. In reality, no one ever actually disappeared from the office, and Stanley never got the opportunity to make a decision. Please to eat dinner. Which path what? he wanted to take. Would his life still what have What the hell is meaning? going on? Perhaps when we long for something deep Please read our children a story. These hopes and fantasies become so strong in our minds that we truly believe that we're there. Please feel your text that person and living that adventure. To manipulate your own thoughts and emotions might Please mean some freedom with the from guys. a self-imposed prison. But these delusions can be fatal to those who can't tell the difference. Please be back in work And in so, the Stanley asked, if that door never opened, if I'll never be able to walk away from those people and Please from question the buttons, nothing. is this life still worth experiencing? Can I get out? Am I actually happy? Stanley answered Please. this question by button. pushing a button. Then he pushed a button, and then he pushed a button. Then he pushed a button. Get off. Then Get off the screen. he pushed a button. Get off the screen. <laughs> that was actually scaring me then. Just the words please die written on the screen. <laughs> Let me. Oh god. I've died. Well, technically I didn't die. I just stood there. Pressing. Apparently, you couldn't do right. I pressed a lot of buttons. Uh, let's go through the blue door. No. Aha. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the. Sorry, I'm gonna blind door. blue. You can't. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked, 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 walked through the red door. <laughs> Did I walk through it or did I fuck up? Yeah. Uh, no, I'm gonna go through this now black door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? It's nothing. No one's even built this section of the map because you were never supposed to be I don't here care. I'm in the a first beach. place. It's just a bunch of skybox and dead it's wall textures. That's it. Is this what you TF2 doesn't for? complain. Was it worth ruining the story yep. I'd written out for I you? I died three times. I put a lot of time into that. And now you... Well, here you are now, just looking at nothing. To think that that's all I needed to make in the first place, just a whole lot of nothing, and you would have been happy. Well, hey, you still need a little still something to do. Uh, no. Am I right? Here, let me load up another map. See if there's something in here that'll keep you occupied. <sighs> ah, here's one. Let's boot this up. We'll see if you uh, like it. Uh, 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 please don't tell me about the moment you were pleased that I'm going to die again. Hey. Anything? Oh, mic's too close to my mouth. Oh, cat's woken up. Hi, kitty. Jump bump. Graph at a date, really? Why is it only one sided? Well, Stanley, uh, is this any better? I don't know why it would be. This map wasn't even made for you. At least I created a world specifically with you in mind. I wanted to make you a leading man. This one, well, I'm afraid you're on your own there. Gordon Freeman, how you doing? I wish it was good. Why is the sound one-sided? Apparently I'm only walking on the uh, right set and the trends is obviously smaller. Can I pick up? Yeah, I can actually pick up items now. Jeez, can I throw them? Whee! Oi, embodied voice. This is what I think of Sean Connery. No, sorry. I like Sean Connery, but not this game, Sean Connery. Can't stand brain as an arsehole. My steps are still technically to my right more than they are to my left. Ooh, table barricade. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, Oi. really stupid. 
He probably only got his job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That, drug money. or with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to Definitely drugs drug and money. hookers. Hookers are great. <laughs> no can to pick up this time. No security assholes. No Marty McFly and Doc to talk to me with bollocks. Hold up there, sport. I spent so long talking about you. Why don't we just take a break from that and talk about something else for a change? Let's see. Well, according to Wikipedia, more than 90% of the night sharks caught off northeastern Brazil contain mercury concentrations higher than that considered safe by the local government. Now, this is fascinating. Don't you want to know more Apparently, about the night sharks? I'm oh, no, of course not. All you want to hear about is yourself, isn't it? Well, fine. You haven't listened to me no, once really. so far. I can't expect you to turn that yep. around now, can I? Let me through the door. Thank you. Up the ladder. <laughs> through the wooden plank. <sighs> is this the end of the line? Line, then. I don't suppose this was a particularly fulfilling experience for you, considering not a single art aspect in this map was created Shut with up. you in mind. But hey, you're a creative kid. I bet you can come up with a story about this place and why you're in it. And while you're doing that, why don't you think up an ending too? Because you certainly won't find one here. I'm afraid that's the long and short of it. This room and these walls are all you get. Maybe the story ends when you decide you can't live in this futuristic science fiction dystopia world and you gallantly commit suicide. Or maybe you stand in this spot for all of eternity to guide and greet other travelers like yourself who pass this way. Or maybe you just get bored and you quit the game. Heck, anything's an ending if that's where you stop playing. But whatever ending you write for yourself, Stanley, you won't have my help. You turned your back on me. And you now killed I do me the same three times. You. So, good luck. I think you'll need it. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Right, so I either quit the game or I stand around doing for cool. But what I have noticed is that rock looks a bit ominous. Sorry, but if a rock's that poorly textured, I can tell it's not a fucking rock. Let's do it. Ow. Wait. <laughs> Hold on. What are you? Nothing. What are you doing? Bye. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you. Even there. better. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know. Goodbye. Ah. Got the burns. Okay. A uh, man voice, woman voice, anyone? Gordon Freeman? Heck, I'll even take G-Man. Hello. Where am I? Hello. Uh, upstairs, maybe. Hello. What the fuck? It's sad, I know. It's sad, I know. But all stories must come to an end. Of course, they say it's the journey that truly matters and not the destination. And I like that idea. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as the places they lead us. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself, but I hope that being the leading man was everything it was it's actually. cracked up to be. I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder, but this is simply the nature mm -hmm. of freedom. Besides, I haven't really gone anywhere. Maybe you don't I want don't a guy, sure. but I think I'll always have a place here at the yeah, end of every story. In. I'll step in and wrap things up with a nice piece of dialogue 
and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen mm. to walk. Good and for now, 